Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan East. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, as the title says below, this is going to be my 2019 favorites for my Christian non fiction so i recently did a video on all of my biblical fiction favorites from this past year so you can click the eye on the screen to go watch that and i also did one for my christian fiction books that are outside of biblical fiction so you can click the eye on the screen to go watch that video as well but we're going to focus on my christian nonfiction. and i realized i read a few but i really didn't enjoy most of the ones that i read so i have a repeat book on this list as well as three books that are completed and one book i'm still reading but will be a favorite of course automatically so the repeat is going to be the esther anointing by michelle mclean walters we read this this year for one of the doi book club picks and i love this book so much this was definitely one of the books that helped me in creating dota of increase to what it is when i first started it out back in 2017 and this book is just it really brings perspective to the book of esther so i highly recommend this i love it i tabbed it up a lot so many tabs i just i love everything about this and i re-annotated on top of what i already had annotated so there's multiple colors going on in this book but it's phenomenal so definitely recommend you guys get this book the next book i'm gonna actually show you the bind up and then i'll put up the picture but that's gonna be the screw tape letters by c.s lewis i have the signature classics edition that has the bind up of the eight books however um, I did get this sent to me for review, which I am so slacking on, so I'm hoping to tackle at least four or three more of these books in 2020, but we have this. I'll now put this down and pop the picture over here of what that looks like, but this book was so epic. This is, it's fantasy, but it's also nonfiction at the same time. It's basically sort of letters from one demon to a lower level demon, and he's teaching this demon how to sort of deceive and keep humans bound. And it is so interesting because you get to see sort of an inside look at how the enemy works and how um, they keep us bound up in the situations, be it lust, be it um, anger, be it pride. And it was so insightful. Now, granted, this is fiction, but you also have to understand that this is literally how the enemy works. So I just love the way C.S. Lewis wrote this book and how profound it was. And I'm just excited to read more of his books. Oh, my God. I need a physical copy of this one alone just to annotate because i did read through like i still need to finish my annotations but i did read through it um and mark it up but you guys can see i was in here annotating like a mad woman i only got up to here um i didn't annotate the rest but like i underlined in here so i need to finish going through but i'm probably going to save that for a reread for next year but this was epic i loved it i read the screw tape letters it can be a little confusing so i did listen to the audiobook as i read it phenomenal 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 highly recommend it okay move on to the next one the next one is going to be from anthony j carter and that's going to be running from mercy this book oh my god this has me bubbling in my like my stomach like with joy um my spirit is bubbling with joy and it makes me want to write a sermon all about jonah which i'm working on that soon but um this one says jonah and the surprising story of god's unstoppable grace so in a nutshell it's about grace for the rebellious um we all know jonah who is the prophet that rebelled um against god he didn't want to go to nineveh to save the ninevites um so god had him eaten by a whale and it spit up yeah this book has so much wisdom in it it is a short book kind of like how ruth is only four chapters this is also four short chapters but um not this book but like the book of jonah um but it's so profound i highly recommend if you haven't seen the jonah bible study that we did click the on the screen and watch that it was epic loved it so much jonah is literally one of my new found favorite books in the bible but this book was so good i did mark up some things in here i annotated up in here like i had a ball reading this book it is really really good and what he shares all the details and stuff that he shares in this book with you um but you really get to see how you're like jonah you know and it really talks about the whale and how the whale was um a part of god's providence over jonah's life and it was it was phenomenal it was heart gripping it was amazing i love this book so much highly recommend you guys check this book out it was really really great following that we have a book from tony evans and that's going to be pathways from providence to purpose and this goes through the book of esther now i disliked this book at the beginning because it talked about football i'm not a football person it took me how many pages to get into this 
12 pages to get into this. It took me forever. I started reading it and rereading it. Read it, stopped rereading it, DNF'd it. Like, it was annoying, but I'm glad I pushed through because this book was so, so good. Um, it really just talks about how God has purpose for your life and how he can use your life to um, do good things and great things in this world. And this came at the right time for the right purpose for me. I think I read this prior to me being ordained. Um, so it was epic um, for me. And some of the chapters include um, seeing the invisible hand of God, the prerequisites of purpose, um, divine reversals, and how there's sovereignty in God and just... Oh, I loved it so much. It was epic. I did tab it up. This is, again, one of those books that I included in my video on how to do dye spread edges. I did this, do this one in rose gold. So, yeah. But this was really, really good. Tony Evans is phenomenal. And I will show you guys um, how it looks when I take off the dust jacket. So, when you take off the dust jacket, it is blue. I mean, sorry. It is black. Then you said it says pathways, but um, I just love the rose gold detailing. So we have that. The next book is one that I have been talking about for a minute and I love it. It was a gift from my uncle and my aunt um, during the, actually a couple days after my ordination, um, they gifted me this and it's Hooper's Evangelist and Minister's Handbook by Deborah C. Hooper. And I still, I'm still in the middle of this book. I know I've been reading other books, but this book is so great. If you are looking into what evangelism is or you're, a recently ordained minister or evangelist um i highly recommend getting this book i already knew a lot of the stuff in this book because my ministries that i had went to my first ministry and then the ministry i'm currently at they were very um keen on you understanding your your call and your purpose but this book is definitely for those who um feel the call feel the pull or they're in the stages of becoming ordained and don't really know what to do or how to handle things this is so good it talks about armor bearers it talks about your attire and what you should have it talks about the business aspect with your business card and your bio and things like that and this was really really good i'm currently on part three that talks about the minister and the work um and like i said i've been annotating and stuff if you guys can see it's a really great read. I'm loving it so far. I'm definitely going to finish it, um, of course, definitely before the end of the year. But it's definitely a five star for me. It's definitely one of my favorites that I've read because I'm a recently ordained um, evangelist and I enjoy this so much. So we have this book. So that is it for some of my favorite Christian nonfictions. Again, I didn't have that much of a great reading year as far as Christian nonfiction. So I'm hoping that change in 2020. But let me know any Christian nonfiction books you guys have read. Any recommendations, list them down below. All links to these books will be down below for you guys to check out as well. And I think that's it for this video. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the family. I would love for you to join the sisterhood. Even if you're a guy, I do love my male supporters, of course, as well. And if you are subscribed, click the bell to stay notified and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.